Hello everyone, let's learn how you can insert a symbol along with your data to make your presentation to the next level. Here I have added a symbol in by going to a customize right over here. I have added a symbol so that it can make your data beautiful as well as the same symbol can be utilized in a chart for representations in Microsoft Excel. So let's understand how you can add the symbols to this. So we are going to make exactly something like this for that I am uh, keeping a data over here. It is a very simple thing. Just follow my instructions so that you can also add the symbols to your data. So in the symbols over here, need to go to the insert over here and click on symbols. Just because I have used this one, it says like recently you can use symbols. Otherwise, you can get the same thing up and down arrow under a geometric shapes. So first I wanted to keep the op one. So let me insert it over here. At the same time, I, after that, I need to select this one and click on the second one, the down arrow and click on insert. So in that way, I have inserted two symbols for us so that we can utilize these two symbol in customize things. So I copy this one. Now I need to select over here. In the home page, I need to go over here and click on customize and here custom, right? Just because zero says what I need to do. If you remember in the previous video, I already explained generally whatever the things you are using over here. Let me first paste whatever the symbol we copied, right? So zero percent should be written. after the symbol then you need to give a semicolon and you need to write over here zero percent what does it means whatever the things is positive it need to follow the first format like the up arrow because whatever the number you are going to give like one percent two percent in the positive value it will be showing as a up arrow but at the same time once you have given a semicolon and followed by a down arrow, automatically the Excel understood you are giving the instruction to the Excel that you are writing a uh, negative numbers. So automatically it shows the down arrow and just hit OK. If you wanted to write down zero or something about the zero, again semicolon and whatever the format you wanted to give for zero, it will follow the way you wanted to give instructions. Next, next press OK. Now you can see just because plus is there, it has been added the symbol and just because here if you click on minus 2% is there, automatically it has been added the down arrow. In that way you have added the up arrow and the down arrow. Same thing if you select the data just because you have already customized the number over here and going to insert and we are going to insert 2D this one. So it is uh, chart title need to be given by you. Take an example over here as I have given like share price. And after that, if you see, I have given a look, little look to the share price as a heading. You can go over here, format and I have selected this one share price. Now you can see all the symbol which has been utilized in your data automatically the Excel has been used the same data to represent in the chart itself. So it makes your charts more beautiful, more elegant. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.